Hello, everybody. We're back for another episode from Network From Home. Today we're going to be addressing the confusion that arises between your modem and your router. If you don't have experience with home networking equipment, it can sometimes be hard to identify which device in your home network is your modem and which is your router. Oops, holding that backwards. So basically what we're going to be looking at today, I'm going to give you a bunch of different ways you can tell the difference between these two devices, just so that way you have a good understanding of your modem and your router in your home network. The first step here, before we look into anything else, is you need to do an assessment of your home network. The question you have to ask yourself is, do you have one device that's making up your home network, or do you have two devices making up your home network? For me, that's quite evident. I have two devices in my hands. One of them is my modem. One of them is my router. But the reason why this question is important is because if you only have one device in your home network and your internet is working, that means you have a modem router combination device. This means that you have one device that can function as both a modem and a router, and it makes your job really easy. You don't need to decipher between two devices. You have one device to manage. So that's pretty much it. But let's say you have two devices in your network. Now let's dive into some ways that we can tell them apart. All right, so I'm going to start by giving you the easiest method of determining the difference between your modem and router. And there's a little bit of a shortcut here. That's because each device should have a sticker somewhere on it, usually on the bottom of the device, and it will tell you what the device is. For example, this device here, what is it? I don't know, let's find out. Let's dive in. If you look up here in the corner, here's the informational sticker. It might be hard to read it, but it says cable modem right there on the sticker. So what does that make my other device? If you look at it here. Ooh, you probably can't see that too well, can you? But the bottom line is it says router right there. You might have to take my word for it. That's the easiest way to tell the difference between these two devices. I'll give you a bunch of other ways to tell the difference between the two, just in case you don't have a sticker on your device or you can't find what we're looking for here. All right, the next tip here should be a dead giveaway. If you have a modem and router as standalone devices in your network, you can tell they look quite different. And it's obvious here, this one has external antennas on it, and this one does not. So what this tells you is this device here is your router. Your router is responsible for sending out a Wi-Fi network which is a wireless way of connecting to your devices. That's why it needs these antennas. These antennas allow your router to send and receive data wirelessly. So that's why it has antennas. Conversely, a modem only connects to other devices with wired connections. It doesn't have the ability to communicate wirelessly. And as a result, there's no antennas on it. So that should be a dead giveaway for you as well. That being said, there are some cases where a router might not have external antennas. So let's look at a few other reasons or a few other ways we can tell the difference between these two devices. All right, the next thing to look at here is looking at the profile of these devices. This device here is a lot more upright. It stands on a base. It's a lot taller than the other device. Whereas this device is a lot, it has a lower profile. It's a lot closer to the ground. It's rectangular, similar shape, but it's a much flatter device. What I'll say here is in general, your modem will be more upright. And there are reasons for that. If you look at the side of the device, see all these holes? This allows for the device to vent 
It allows air to flow through it to cool it down. The more surface area there is here on either side, the more efficient the cooling process is with air passing through it. Conversely, a router, a router has vents on the top here. It has some vents on the bottom. But in general, routers are a lot lower profile in this sense. They still use air to cool, but you'll find that modems most likely generate more heat, which is why a lot of them are more vertical like this one here. The next tip we have is to look at the back of these devices. The dead giveaway here is that your modem should only have one ethernet port on the back. As you can see, one ethernet port, and then it also has a connector that allows it to connect to your internet service provider. This is usually through a wall jack. I have one. I have one here. It's a wall jack. So if you have a cable internet connection, your wall will have a coaxial cable wall jack, which connects to right here on the back of your modem. But the telltale sign here is one ethernet port on the modem, whereas a router will have many more. You can see here it has one. This one is used to connect it to your modem. These four here are to allow your devices to have wired internet connections. Bottom line is modem, one ethernet port, router, many ethernet ports. All right, the last way to tell the difference between your modem and router, this one might be a little bit challenging for me here, just in terms of space and cables and everything else, but we'll do our best. Your modem, in short, your modem will be the closest thing to the wall when it comes to your home network. I'll let you digest that for a moment. So if you have a modem in see, I told you this was going to be a mess. If you have a modem and router and they're separate devices in your home network, your modem here is going to be connected to the wall. And that's what I mean when I say it'll be the closest to the wall. So I'll bring back my coaxial cable wall jack. This is just a model, obviously. This would be coming out of your wall, this here. And your modem, it's hard to even get the entire cable in the frame. But the bottom line is your modem will be directly connected to this coaxial cable wall jack. So it goes wall, modem, and then your modem will be connected to your router. As you can see here, this gray ethernet cable in front of me here, that's how your modem and router are connected to each other. But the thing to keep in mind, it goes wall jack, whether it's a, a phone jack, if you have DSL internet, or a coaxial cable wall jack, if you have cable internet, this is connected to your modem first, your modem first, and then your modem will be connected to your router. So the closest thing to that wall jack or the thing that's connected directly to it, that'll be your modem. All right, that should be plenty of ammunition for you to tell the difference between your modem and your router in your home network. As I mentioned, if you have one device that creates your internet connection, you have a modem and router combination device, and you don't really have to worry about anything that we talked about in this video. If you have any questions about this material, please leave a comment below. I'll also link to a blog post that you might find helpful. It talks a little bit more about what a modem looks like. And then I'll also create another post for what a router looks like. And I'll make sure it's really detailed so it goes over some of the similar information that we talked about in this video. If you found this information useful, please hammer that subscribe button or hit the like button and give it a like. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.